Uh, this is Shady Red. All the time I thought I was lost. Well, that's understandable, considering the only road out here is the fire road. Oh, no wonder it was so bumpy. Yeah, well, I've been thinking of expanding it into a six-lane superhighway. I'm a little worried, though. Afraid we might destroy the out-of-the-way atmosphere. <laughs> I'm Janet Craig. I'm Jack Moran. Joe Carson, manager of this hotel. Oh, very happy to meet both of you. Jacqueline Moran, not by any chance the author. Guilty, I'm afraid. Oh. Any objections? Heck no. What is there to object to? I'm one of them myself. <laughs> well, Joe, I didn't know you'd published anything. Well, I haven't yet. It's all up here. I'm keeping it stored list just right. Then I'm going to sit down one day and dash it off. <laughs> what do you write? Poems? Recipes? Household hints? Well, um, I think household hints comes about the closest. <laughs> Joe, where have you been? Miss Moran is the author of one of the most talked of books of the year. Sex is here to stay. Oh! Uh, he, you, uh, excuse me. Excuse me. You can sign in right over here, Miss Moran. Thank you. Will you be with us long? That all depends. I'd like to finish my new novel here. It really is a quiet, restful place. Oh, yes. By the way, is Steve Elliott around? Steve? You did say Steve. Uh, yes, he recommended this place. You a friend of Steve's? I'd like to think so. Could somebody get my bags? Huh? Oh, oh sure. Somebody. I'll get them. <laughs> Hey, Steve, where's Betty Jo? Well, she's out at the shed. She's been helping me work on the plane. Good. Can you keep her there? Keep her there? For how long? How long does it take to write a book? <laughs> Joe, what are you talking about? That woman in there, she's asking for you. Well, what's her name? Well, uh, I've forgotten her name. <laughs> what's she look like? Oh, she's, uh, she's, she, 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 well, you know, there ain't never been anybody around here you could compare her to. That bad, huh? Oh, no. Oh. Yeah. Good luck, boy. Oh, hi. Hi. Well, you don't remember me. Well, sure. Of course. Are you kidding? How could I uh, forget you? <laughs> but that's a laugh, huh? Sure is. Okay, I'll let you off the hook. It was when you were at March Air Force Base. Oh? Oh, sure. You were, uh, in the Air Force and... <laughs> I was doing research on a story, and Colonel Maltby assigned you as my escort. Of course. Now I remember. Well, that was one of the biggest things that ever happened. It... Escorting her around the base, you know, showing her everything. And did you? Hmm? Show her everything? <laughs> oh, he certainly did. He was a perfect darling. I was only doing my duty. And it was a pleasure, too. Uh, why don't I show you to your room? Oh, thanks. It's uh, number nine. Number nine? You mean way down at the end of the hall? Mm hmm. Way down at the opposite end from you and Betty Jo. <laughs> Betty Jo, that's the one. <laughs> Come on, you two. It's up this way, Miss Moran. Oh, Jackie, please. After all, I'm going to be here a month or more. And Steve, I can't thank you enough for bringing me to this lovely, restful place. Hi. <laughs> What's everybody looking at? Oh. Well, hi, honey. This is, uh, Jackie. Um, uh, Miss Moran. <laughs> this is Betty Jo. Yeah, uh, that's Betty Jo. The wife. She's my wife. Oh. Well, she's lovely. Oh, well, you caught her at a bad time. She doesn't always look like this, do you, honey? Oh, no. Sometimes I'm a mess. <laughs> oh, well. Well, well, well. Speak of the devil. Could I use your phone? Huh? I said, could I use your phone? Oh, sure. Anything you want, just ask for it. Hey, care to use the phone? <laughs> yes, please. Well, here, have a barrel. Well, I'd like to help her turn things on. Sam, I'm surprised at you. Yes, operator? This is Jacqueline Moran. I'd like a collect call to Mr. Arthur Lewis on 58th Street, New York City, please. 
Oh, go right ahead, gentlemen. Don't let me interrupt you. Oh, sure. Uh, uh, go, uh, how's business at the hotel? Lousy. That's nice. Thanks. How's the grocery business? Oh, it's a little slow, but uh, I'm running a special tomorrow. What on? Legs. That's a nice item. Uh, hello? Arthur? <laughs> Look, why don't you come down for a few days so we can discuss the book? And other things. Of course I miss you. You will? <laughs> okay, you're a darling. Bye-bye. I don't understand. I just don't understand. Where could they have gone in an out-of-the-way place like this? Bobby Joe, you were here. What do you think? Just one of those mysterious mysteries. <laughs> oh, that kind, huh? Well, they probably won't be wanting their dinner now, not at this hour. Why don't I eat it? Oh, Joe, how can you think of food at a time like this? I force myself. <laughs> <laughs> so are you. Hello there. Oh, well, that's a brilliant greeting. Yeah, well, well, I couldn't very well say goodbye there. Well, I thought I know we're a little late. A little late. Well, it's really all my fault. Guess what a nutty thing I did. Out on the cannonball going the wrong way. <laughs> How could she do that? <laughs> well, naturally, we got to Pixley before I realized my mistake. So having told Artie. Oh, uh, Mr. Lewis. Oh, no, 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 please, Artie. <laughs> well, having told Artie so much about Riverdale, naturally, we just had to go on there to see it. Well, naturally, he couldn't believe we had such a sophisticated spot as the fireside room there. It was very attractive. It has a stream running right through the center of it. <laughs> Too bad you didn't fall in. <laughs> well, naturally, we couldn't leave without buying something, like dinner. Oh, naturally. See, I told you she'd be a good sport about it. <laughs> oh, and uh, on the way back, we, uh, we stopped at, uh, what, what was the name of it? Ziffel's Hog Pond. <laughs> Billy Joe! What about Ziffel's Hog Pond? Cut the most incredible moonlight. Oh, you really must go there sometime. <laughs> yeah, well, what kind of an evening did you have, dear? Oh, well, we're going back to the city tonight. That's what kind of an evening I had. Well, if you really feel... I really feel. 